Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. He who believes in Christ becomes a child of God. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. This ancient greeting, Christ is risen, receives the response, He is risen indeed. Alleluia. To remind us of the first greeting given by the angel at his empty tomb. He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. I like to use the Paschal greeting because it also proclaims who we are as believers and how we are to live as his disciples. The kingdom of God is a reality that begins here on earth. We believe Christ rose from the dead, and we believe his church is the everlasting way his work is to continue. From the first apostles and continuing to us today, the kingdom of God is to be extended by all Christians until it has been brought into perfection by Christ at the end of time. We are an Easter people. We are called to holiness because of Christ's resurrection and his everlasting gift of love. And we give witness to this love by our very lives. All are called to holiness, as is written in the fifth chapter of Matthew's Gospel. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. This Easter season, pay particular attention in the Gospel accounts of the actions of the first apostles. Their witness gives us strength to overcome any darkness and doubt we may be tempted to hold on to. Pray for a share of their excitement and joy and believe that you can help bring the kingdom of God to everyone you meet. Brothers and sisters, Christ is risen and he is with us today. May you fully come to know his presence and experience his joy. Blessed Easter to you. Let us walk together as his disciples. Amen.